綺麗ですね Hello from Glover Garden in Nagasaki. This is a place where you can come to explore the impact that Mr. Glover had on this area. And you know, some of the buildings that he had out here really helped to support the, uh, the company of Mitsubishi out in this area. You can tell by some of the former and current uh, areas that are being supported by that company. But what's so special about here is what you can see over the city of Nagasaki. Over there are a couple of cruise ships. This is a very important port. A lot of people, apparently, uh, according to Takusan, this is the second busiest one after Fukuoka. Uh, that's how busy this particular place is. And then right behind me along the mountain back, you can see the houses all up along the mountain. When you are in a city that's surrounded by mountains, there's really no other place to go other than up, right? Because you can't really flatten out the mountain. So you can see that in the night sky, or while it's getting darker, the light's starting to pop up all along the mountain as people are going into their homes for the night. One of the biggest features in the Glover Garden area is this particular estate behind me. It's the number two dock house where people, if they were, uh, if one of their boats were being repaired down over in the uh, dock area below, uh, especially for Mitsubishi, uh, then they would be able to come up here and stay in the house during that time period. I feel like we went back in time. Look at the uh, furniture here. I mean, can you imagine the view that you would have from an office in a room like this? Fireplace, old furniture. Of course, you wouldn't have a TV like this back in the day. But you some information from the past. The desk that you would have sat at back at that time. I mean, the port had a huge impact here in Nagasaki. like from on top of the second story of the dock number two house.
welcome into the Glover house. This was where Mr. Thomas Glover used to live. And here's the guest room. Apparently all of these are still preserved as artifacts from the past. You can tell by the architecture just how it looked back in the day during the uh, 19th century. In a sense, it almost feels like I got rerouted back to Europe or something. It's just that interesting. If you walk around this uh, particular area, you can hear the uh, kind of the Celtic style music being played. And it kind of reminds me of when I was playing those types of music on the violin, on the fiddle. Thank <laughs> you. 